What's up guys? It's Mike and I'm back with another episode on Black Myth Wukong. In today's episode, we're about to take down a big, bad bear in Black Myth Wukong. Meet Black Bear Guai, your first major roadblock in the game, and trust me, this grizzly is not here to play. This boss is the kind of challenge that'll make you rethink your life choices, at least in the game, but don't sweat it. I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to turn this beast into a fluffy rug for your cave. Let's go in and maul this bear before he mauls you. Before we get started, please like the video if you're excited, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates and cool videos. Prepping for the fight, sharpen those claws. Before you even step into Black Bear Gwai's arena, you'll want to make sure you're leveled up and ready to rumble. Ideally, you should be around level 20 by the time you face off against this furball. But if you're feeling confident, or just plain reckless, level 15 should be your minimum. The key here is to be smart about where you put your points. This is no time for experimenting with fancy skills that don't pack a punch. Let's talk strategy. Your main weapon in this fight is the Immobilize spell, so you'll want to max out its skill tree. This spell is going to be your best friend. But here's the kicker. You can only use it twice in this fight, so timing is everything. As for the rest of your build, focus on boosting your stamina. You're going to be dodging like your life depends on it because, well, it does. And don't forget about your spirit summons. Guangmu, with its venom-spitting vipers, is an excellent choice to keep that bear poisoned and hurting. Entering the arena, the calm before the storm. Now that you're all prepped and ready, it's time to step into the arena. As soon as you enter, Black Bear Guai is going to greet you with a mighty roar. Don't panic, this is your chance to get in some early hits. While he's busy showing off his vocal cords, you can start pummeling him with some light attack combos. Just be careful not to get too trigger happy with your transformations. Turning into a wolf might seem like a good idea to set his fur on fire, but if you do it too early, you'll trigger his second phase right off the bat, and trust me, that's not something you want to do just yet. Phase 1. Dancing with the Bear Black Bear Guai's first phase is like a slow dance with a very angry partner. He's not too fast, so you'll have plenty of time to dodge his attacks and hit back. After his initial roar, he'll teleport away and come back with a fierce swipe that can take out a third of your health bar. The trick here is to dodge into his attack. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but this will put you in the perfect position to retaliate with some light attacks. Once you've landed a few hits, the bear will back off and start gearing up for another swipe. He might stand up on his hind legs and try to swipe at you again, this time aiming for the ground. Dodge out of the way and use this opportunity to spend any focus points you've built up on a heavy attack. The bear's recovery time is your best friend in this phase, so keep hammering away at him while he's getting his bearings, pun intended. When he teleports again, he'll return with a two-hit swipe combo, just like before. Dodge into the attack so you end up behind him, then follow up with a few light attacks. But watch out, this time he's going to try a body slam. Dodge through it, and when he's struggling to get back up, go in for another heavy attack. Rinse and repeat, and you'll have him down to half health in no time. Phase 2, the bear gets fired up. Now we're getting to the real challenge. Once Black Bear Guai's health drops below half, he's going to slam his fists into the ground and cover his paws in fire. This not only increases his damage, but also creates fiery geysers all over the battlefield. Step in one of these and you'll be toast, literally. In this phase, you need to be extra cautious. Save your Cloud Mist spell for when you really need it. Ideally, you'll want to use it twice during this phase, as the bear can dish out a lot of damage very quickly. If you find yourself surrounded by fire or getting smacked around by the bear's fiery paws, use Cloud Mist to remove the burning status and give yourself some breathing room. Black Bear Guai's attack patterns don't change much in this phase, but the addition of fire makes everything more dangerous. He'll still teleport and try to swipe at you, but now there's a chance he'll phase in and out of the battlefield, leaving a trail of fire in his wake. Keep dodging, keep hitting, and most importantly, keep your cool. The bear might be on fire, but that doesn't mean you have to be. Timing is everything. Using Immobilize and Transformation as I mentioned earlier, you only get to use Immobilize twice in this fight, so make sure you save it for the second phase. When the bear is all fired up and things are getting hectic, hit him with Immobilize to freeze him in place and give yourself a much-needed break. While he's stuck, summon your Vipers with Guangmu to poison him and start racking up some damage over time. 
And let's not forget about your transformation spell. The wolf form is perfect for dealing extra damage, but you'll want to maximize your time in this form. If you're low on health, don't be afraid to hang back and wait for the right moment to strike. A well-timed lunging heavy attack can drain your stamina quickly, but it's a safe way to keep the pressure on without putting yourself in too much danger. The final push, bringing down the bear. By now, Black Bear Guy should be on his last legs, or paws as it were. He might try to mix things up with some new attack patterns, but the strategy remains the same. Dodge, hit, and repeat. Keep an eye on your mana and health, and don't be afraid to use your spells and transformations when the time is right. This is the final push, so give it everything you've got. When you finally bring the big guy down, you'll be rewarded with a pile of loot, including Craving Eyes, Flame Ebon Gold, Yarn, Silk, Yaogwai Core, Stone Spirit, and Mind Core. Craving Eyes is a relic that allows you to activate one of three passive bonuses, which will come in handy as you continue your journey. The rest of the items are materials you can use to upgrade your weapons and armor, so make sure you put them to good use. And there you have it. That's how you take down Black Bear Guai in Black Myth Wukong. This fight might be your first big challenge, but with the right strategy, you'll turn this ferocious beast into nothing more than a bump in the road. Remember, patience and timing are key, so keep practicing, and soon you'll be tearing through bosses like a pro. Now go out there, show that bear who's boss, and enjoy the spoils of victory. And don't forget to check out our guide on how to beat the next big challenge, Tiger Vanguard, because trust me, you're going to need it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment below, and smash that subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest videos. Thanks for the support.